we are going to unbox this time Mars 5 Ultra as you guys can see the box is in this condition and there is a resin fitted inside so it comes out with the first rapid resin the squeeze in there you can hear it let's take it off and here we have um, it's gray colored resin and the other next thing I have is the user manual which we are gonna check it out and here we have the power line US plug what's this hmm I guess this is a drip pin we will see what this is in a moment come out Why is this not balanced? Oh, okay. Now it's more like it. Perfect. Let's take this one off. It feels like small built area for me. I want big stuff. I want to print big. I like big resin printers. Send me big resin printers. Send me huge resin printers. This is the build plate. And let's put it in. Nice. Hmm, there's a camera spot here. Can I can I do resin time lapse? Maybe? Can I? Yeah, I remember this one like goes up and down. Yep, the build plate removed. We are gonna take a look at it much closer too. Let me just put everything out of their protective covers. Yeah, there's an exhaust area if you want to connect it to exhaust. We are gonna take a look at the toolkit. The power adapter inside the toolkit. There are cones for filtering the resin when it's needed. There's gloves. Don't use these gloves, just buy a good gloves. There's a scraper and some L wrenches. Uh, what is this? Chi2 box license. Okay. There are masks. Ha! Huh. Plastic scraper here. And a flash drive. Buy a better flash drive. Wi Fi antenna. I'm just gonna plug in the Wi Fi antenna to its side, anyways yeah yeah it's time to make a closer look to this machine now okay this is the entire machine and here is the protective sheet that i need to remove uh, it's beautifully removed and this is our tank another protective sheet to be removed and now i'm going to plug it in back to its original space this is like fun and this is the build plate. Oh, come on. This is the build plate where we are going to be printing the objects here, which is also nice and cool. I think it comes leveled. We'll see. And this is the resin tray that goes on here. And here is the cover of it that goes on it. Nice. I mean, it looks sexy. Let me tell you that much. It's like a spaceship. And here is the USB stick plugged in. Let me give you guys more closer look. It is self testing right now. I just opened it. Oh, look at it. It's moving it. Nice. Okay, seems like we passed the test. Here is the side of the machine, switch USB, DC and Wi-Fi. Um, let's connect my USB and see if there are test prints inside, which will help me do a faster print. And here is our camera on the side. Boop. Can I align the camera? Seems like solid. Let's put it this way. <coughs> so here is the print. Let's check the USB file. There is a rock. Obviously, you can print the rock. Illegal chess. No files. Oh. OK. 
okay uh, local file and then local file no history probably not scroll back let me look at the tools there's manual movement uh, we can say let's say let's remove it 50 okay that sounds good I'm gonna click return to home it's going up 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 which is also great let's go back LCD exposure screen oh, oh. cool uh, tank cleaning obviously when I click this we will see UV light coming out which is great and there's a temperature in there too and I don't need that right now and there's an eat stop okay cool ah, there's more okay resin calibration okay let's confirm this one hmm. yeah there's uh there's this um space-based calibration I remember that okay I'm not gonna play with this yet next time and the device self test is in there too let's click settings there's an app settings okay uh, there's a print mode high speed low speed okay cool and there's a Wi-Fi where I need to connect it to my Wi-Fi probably not yet cool and it uh, monitors the temperature too and this is a look good thing and here are all the other close looks and the camera in there everything looks good <coughs> Now it is time to check it out for a test print. Put gloves, guys. Use gloves. Don't touch the resin with your hands. Aha, uh -huh, I put my gloves. So I'm gonna pour it in. Oh, good. It smells awful. Hmm, maybe I overfilled it. I'm not sure. Did I overfill it though? Ugh. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, I'm gonna syringe the extra one out just to make sure that it's not green. Now I'm gonna start a test print and we will see how it goes. Actually, for you guys to see this, I'm just gonna start the test print from the SD file. Again, I just put the standard resin in there. I don't know any um, variables or anything. I'm just blindly starting this. Maybe I should not do that, but we are about to find out. And I'm taking the risk right now too. I hope it doesn't leak when it's going all the way down. Mechanical sensor is being calibrated, good. What about the camera? Like, can I do time-lapse? This is going to take one hour and 43 minutes. Oh, it says rec, is it recording? Seems like it's recording. Where do I get the recording? How do I get the recording? Um, <laughs> I believe these are all answered in the app. We'll see. Okay. It's getting in. Resin ex exceeded maximum limit print stop. Okay. I knew this was going to happen. You're a smart machine. I like it. Uh, but what do we do then? Okay, print stopped, cool. Return to home then? Okay, let's get a syringe. Let's not drip things. Okay, I put this one in. I'm gonna put it here like this. And get some out. Okay, 10. 20. 30, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Okay, I reduced it by 100 milliliters. Uh, that should be good for now. Also, guess what? That resin dripping thing worked like a charm. So I saved the machine. See? It's smart for you guys. Thanks for doing that. Um, I'm back to the my LCD screen. Click print. USB. Printing test. Rock. 
Let's do it again. One more time. I love it. <laughs> Do it. Start the print. It's getting down. Sun is going low. Come on, come on. Okay, 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 good, smart machine, I like it, oh nice, is it started yet, it is starting, the first layer ongoing, I felt, I, I heard the detachment sound, and went up and down seems good now what we are going to do is wait one hour and 45 minutes before continuing to this video and i think it's recording so i'm gonna do that if it's possible to do a time lapse i'm gonna do the time lapse for this video and um, this is going to be unboxing and first sprint for environmental safety i am going to plug this thing back on it This thing, is it not fitting now? Okay, never mind. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna wait and keep you guys updated when this is done. I'm also able. To, I'm also able to check the printer while it's printing. That's pretty nice. Look at that resin vat going up and down. It is so awesome. It makes it very easy, especially when it comes to forces required to pull the objects from the resin vat just like beautiful and it makes it super fast too i really like it i can just like watch it for a long time too after one hour and 34 minutes so it finished 10 minutes earlier than it said so let's take it off and look at it the first print is successful again i didn't change any parameters or anything put the resin Seems like they did a good job with the parameters and everything. So this is cool. What we are going to do now is simply wash and cure it. Let's get to that step and I will be back with the final product here. Here we are looking at the very first print out of the box from Elugu Mars 5 Ultra. As you guys can see, I did nothing, no parameter optimization at all. Out of the box, I can print this. I already broke it a little bit but i cured it and washed it so it is nice and ready for action now i'm gonna put the build plate back i just finished unboxing and printing my very first object with iligu mars 5 ultra and everything happened very quickly i just print one object from its usb card Next, what I'm going to do is send my optimized print into this machine and see how it's gonna go. I will probably make another video on my settings and how I slice the object and send it and other stuff. So stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Don't forget to subscribe to your 3D Printing Doctor and see you guys in the next video.